furlong marker take cover bidding for a third win on the far side batage coming there strongly profitable is between the pair just getting squeezed up a bit profitable didn't have the pace to go there marsha in behind then in behind these priceless out wide batage leads the way profitable now scampering after him from marsha and take cover as they race inside the final furlong the three-year-old batage leads and leads by two and has got it one surely batage this is a new sprinting star batage clearing away batage wins the king george from his second it was profitable third marsha Lined up and away they go. Take cover, breaking quickly on the far side with Batash. They're going to race apart by the look of things. Havana Gray and Catchy moving across to chase those on the far side. Main desire, but Jim Crowley is bringing Batash towards the main body of the field as Catchy blazes the trail, chased by Muthmir, Sioux Nation on the right, and Duke of Forenzi. Another little group now developing off the stands rail, led by Havana Gray. Batash, Heartache, Stone of Destiny. Then Main Desire, Mr. Lupton, and all alone on the far side is take cover Batash probably just the leader now Catchy on the stand side Havana Gray as they race on towards the final furlong and a half and Batash looks to be clear and Jim Crowley is shaking him up now and he's four five lengths clear of take cover Havana Gray and then Catchy and Muthmir and racing up towards the line this is a brilliant performance by Batash and Batash giving them a right bashing in the King George a back-to-back -back win the Group 2 King George Qatar Stakes and away they go ornate in the yellow jacket Copper Knight in light blue fast away on the stand side Rebecca Rocks uh, Batash is prominent over in the centre just leading El Astronauti Batash racing very powerfully and freely followed by Hootzen Judicial in the noseband Rumble in the jungle at the back and also towards the back is Big Brother's Pride the French trained filly as they hurtle down the hill passing halfway ornate Batash travels strongly on the far side Side. Then Copper Knight and Judicial and El Astronauti, Big Brother's Pride, Rumble in the Jungle. Hoot Zen's trying to run on far side, Light Blue Jacket. Jim Crowley now shakes up the favourite and Batash hits the front, leads by two legs, extending as he has done before at Goodwood. Hoot Zen is giving chase on the far side, but Batash is nicely clear at length and a half. Hoot Zen is closing down in the last throws, but Batash for King George III. And it's blast off in the King George Qatar Stakes. Uh, Batash not the quickest away. Ornate uh, fast into stride. Batash soon on terms. Down the near side, Ken Colt. Liberty Beach is in the firing line as well. Then Dubai Station. Al Rare in the red jacket and glass slippers on the far side. Batash might just lead now, passing the three from Ornate. Chased by Dubai Station on that far side group. Al Rare in the nose banded glass slippers. Down the stand side, Liberty Beach now taking over from Ken Colt as they race on past the two furlong marker and it's Batash that leads the way to ornate glass slippers giving it a good go on the far side now Jim Crowley gets to work on Batash he's got about two lengths in hand on glass slippers ornate is fading away and racing inside the final furlong Batash glass slippers still trying very hard in second place but Batash is pulling away and up towards the line is a fourth King George Qatar stakes for the fastest horse in Britain Batash